How's it going, people? I'm having a wonderful day. God, it's pretty warm still, you know, for late October. And thought I'd have a nice icy martini. And I made it enough for more than one. So I, this is a three olive martini. Yep. I'm definitely messing around. I thought it would I should start this Mennonite uh, inquiry of mine. And it was nice and quiet. It was a perfect day and now the chainsaws have started up so I hope it doesn't ruin the music, you know the video too much. The casual Christianity crisis. Casual Christianity is a misnomer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. There are no casual Christians. So there's a whole bunch of posers out there that are just too chill, those damn Unitarians. <sighs> Actually, I prefer them. Uh, Jesus said, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Jesus said that in a dream. <laughs> Revelation 3, 15, 16. What is your spiritual temperature? Neither shaken nor stirred. But I'd say probably cold. I don't know how they take your temperature, by the way. There's different ways. Maybe this is a whole nother way. Maybe you get one of those mood rings, you know, so people go, ah, <laughs> he's, he's with the program. Okay. A, a Christian lives close to the Lord Jesus and is victorious over sin. Close. Yeah. A Christian is a member of a spiritual brotherhood. I'm sure they meant brotherhood as in universal, you know, human beings, humanoids, things like that. Maybe some aliens, I don't know. Uh, whenever possible, we have the parentheses around that. Whenever possible, yeah. Knew there would be a catch. It's a wise catch. And faithfully serves the Lord and his fellow men. He obeys without hesitancy the Lord's New Testament commands. I could think of a few that you probably would want to hesitate about, even in the New Testament, like Second Peter, where he's talking about killing people that have insulted uh, his belief, blasphemed, they just should be hunted and killed like brute beasts. Yeah, do that without hesitation, but also turn the other cheek and love your enemies and give all your money to the poor. You know, like real Christians do. <laughs> Judge not, lest you be judged. Don't even think somebody is a fool, you'll be in danger of hellfire. Yeah. And also, takes no thought for the morrow. That was the biggest steaming nugget yet. Some really bad advice. A Christian loves the Lord with all his heart, soul, mind, and strength, and his neighbor as himself. Pretty tall order there. Although I guess you could lump, you know, the, uh, what is it, uh, 
heart, soul, mind, strength. You just put that under in mind, you know. <laughs> Whatever. By contrast, a casual Christian is in a crisis. A crisis is a time of great trouble. In this case, in trouble with God Almighty. And that's the end of the first section. And I think I'm really in for it here. Let's see, it's a little booklet. Yeah, we got 24 pages. Uh, pretty tight text pages. So I'm gonna break this up. I'm on my first uh, tract and already I'm bogged down. Anyway, stay tuned because that was just the, you know, preface. Let me know if you learned anything, because I probably missed it. Stay tuned. Peace. Fuck out. Wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. And I still got some gin left, so...